Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Training Reviews. So today I'm going to be reviewing a lot of the different camera capabilities on the Samsung S20 Ultra and the Google Pixel 4. So I'm going to be covering a lot of different categories as you can see listed here. Now this video is going to be pretty long so if you wanted to jump straight to any different part of those categories I'll have them timed and linkable down below in the description as well. So I'm going to cover all the different types of photography that you might be able to take with these phones. So general photography, low light and a bit of like the video and the autofocus tests. I'll also give you an audio test as well. Now, I'm not gonna test the portrait pictures versus the live focus pictures on here. I'll have a separate video to that. If you're watching this at a time when I've completed that video, I will have that in the description as well. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick review of each of those categories and then just run through a whole load of samples as well, just to show you which ones take the better pictures. And if you're considering buying maybe the Google Pixel 4 or the S20 Ultra and you're not sure which one to go to based on the camera, camera capabilities, then this video is for you. So let's just jump straight into it. Okay guys, so starting off with this first picture, I'd just like to point out that I've turned off the scene optimization mode that comes on the S20 range but I do have HDR on on both of the phones so looking at this first picture here it's very similar and it's going to be hard to distinguish which one is better than the other but if you have a look at the grass on the Samsung S20 you can see that it's a bit more greener and it feels like it's a bit more alive and uh, I think the quality in the Samsung phones for landscapes and parks and greenery and this kind of stuff I think it always comes out quite well so in my opinion I think the Samsung S20 just looks tiny bit better but again it's very hard to distinguish in this photo again whilst having a walk around my local park I just uh, wanted to take a picture of the actual greenery and here is where you can see the most biggest difference of the color of the green now you can see the grass the trees and some of the fields in the background it's a lot more clearer on the S20 and as I mentioned I don't have the scene optimization on if I did have it on then I would definitely see a bit more brighter green on the S20 itself but nonetheless it's done a great job and it's not too far off from being realistic I think with the Pixel 4 the color of the grass there is not completely matching how it was in reality so for me S20 does a great job in that instance now looking at this next picture it's uh, very similar again much like the previous two pictures there's not so much difference apart from the, the coloring and the actual saturation of the different colors of the grass that you can see but if you notice a bit in the sky i feel like the samsung s20 will bring out a little bit of the blue in the sky as well but i think both of the phones have done an excellent job but again it's uh, s20 for me in this instance as well now let's just go ahead and have a look at a couple more photos just for you guys to make a judgment yourselves In this picture I wanted to point the camera directly at the sun and see how much flare I would get. Now you can see that there's a bit more flare on the actual screen itself on the Pixel 4 but I can see the sun is shining a little bit brighter in the S20 Ultra and for me I feel like I can see more of the building as well if you notice on the Pixel 4 it's brought in a little bit more light however I think from more a realistic point of view I think the S20 has done a better job and it's created more of the correct shadows and darkness of the buildings behind that tree. This one was a slightly different situation. The Pixel 4 has come out a little bit sharper here and the S20 has come out a little bit washed out. Now I wasn't sure if this was because of the flare from the sun pointing at the lens or anything like that. I'd made sure that both lenses were clean and I can see that clearly you know the Pixel 4 is uh, coming out on top here. So for me that does a very good job there but this has not happened in any of the other cases this might be just a one-off but it's just useful to point out for you guys just to note that this could happen right so when it comes to taking pictures of people this is where it sort of stands out now as you can see from here I feel like the Pixel 4 does a great job when it captures people in their photos whereas the S20 Ultra and generally with the Samsung phones I felt like they've tend to process their pictures with people and to try to make them a little bit more smoother 
so it becomes a little bit unrealistic at times but as you can see from this picture here if you look in the s20 ultra picture you can see at the top of my hair it feels a little bit brushed out and a little bit too smooth and realistically if you look at my skin tone there on the pixel 4 i feel like that's more realistic than what it actually is showing there on the s20 so for me the pixel 4 has done a better job in this situation now in this photo it's done a very good job on both sides but going back to the point of it being a little bit more realistic i can see that the face it comes out much better on my pixel 4 however the coloring for example on my jeans on my shirt on my jacket is better on the s20 now I'm not sure but the beauty mode on my S20 is off and there's no additional smoothing in place. It does have HDR on. I feel like the Pixel 4 has done a great job picking up actually what I look like in person but the S20 does a good job in picking out realistic colours of things in the background, things you're wearing and that kind of stuff so it's a bit of a mixed one but ultimately I would still be happy with the Pixel 4 pictures in this scenario. This one I was standing in a very unusual position under a very bright light. Now for me the lighting is a little bit more realistic there on the S20 of what it looked like in person but to see which is a little bit clearer and how I come out in the picture it's much better there on the Pixel 4. So again it's just if both of these phones can combine some of the processing power then it will just give you the, the best picture but here I think my face and how I look is more realistic on the Pixel 4 than the S20 but the S20 does pick up the colors very nicely in terms of my clothes and the lighting behind me uh, just a shame about not picturing exactly how I look and getting the figure in the picture to come out quite sharp now this one comes definitely back to the skin tone as well for some reason I look like a little bit more orange and a little bit tanned on the S20 there but the Pixel 4 shows a much more realistic view of how I looked and I just feel like the colours there on the little poster is more scaled to what it was like in real life on the Pixel 4 as well now I haven't edited this in any way I haven't put any specific modes on that would differ these no filters or anything like that so I was actually quite surprised in the differences here but if you look at my shirt now on the S20 the sleeves are a lot darker than they actually are in real life and the Pixel 4 has brought out the realistic version of that so I have to hand it to the Pixel 4 in this one now ultimately just for general photography I think Samsung does a much better job in bringing out pictures for landscapes and architecture and objects and this kind of stuff but when it comes to people I feel like the Pixel 4 always comes out on top they're very good at processing after you've taken the picture to see all of the real details of the person the skin tone the facial hair and all this kind of stuff and I feel like Samsung's processing power on their phones when it comes to people tries to make them look a bit more better than more realistic so it's a it's a mixed bag but for general photography I think Samsung does an amazing job and this camera has you know gone to more extreme lengths than all of its previous range but again with pictures of people I think the Pixel 4 is still my favorite Okay, so I just really wanted to test out the selfie camera and I'm not a huge selfie person but I just took a very few amount of pictures here and I just have to say that the Pixel 4 for me always takes very good and more realistic pictures with their selfie camera as you can see here I tried to have the sun behind me to create a little bit more flair and I feel more washed out there on the S20 and you can see the more dark tones on my beard and people in the background on the Pixel 4 so it's done a much better job there and as you can see from this one as well it's just a little bit more clearer on the Pixel 4 even though Samsung is good at picking out those colors in the background and making them more vibrant I think Pixel 4 does a little bit better when there's people in the shots so this one here is where you can clearly see the bigger difference if you look at my beard and the sharpness in that on my Pixel 4 it's so much better Whereas the one on the S20, it's not too bad, it's still done a good job, but I feel like it's not as clear as the Pixel 4 would do in selfie cameras. Alright guys, so now I'm moving on to low light and nighttime photography. Just to let you know, this is not specifically done with any night mode or night sight mode. It's just purely with the normal photo mode, but just taken at very low lighting conditions. So this is just outside my house. And as you can see, during sunset, the Pixel 4 brings in so much more light and everything is a lot clearer. So it's done a very good job there. But I feel like the S20, it makes it take the picture at a more realistic level. So there is a lot of 
shadows along the street it was pretty dark and the light was beginning to fade but if i was going to take pictures i want to see things visible and i want to show things a little bit more clearly to like family and friends so for me the pixel 4 has done a good job there now moving into my garden here's a little tree with some lights and this is one of those that are very similar it's sometimes maybe hard to distinguish which one is better but i think if you look at the uh, sky behind you the pixel 4 shows it is a little bit more darker which was more realistic and the s20 has tried to brighten that up a little bit and it doesn't really show the realistic view of actually how the sky was now i thought i'll just chuck in a selfie during uh, sundown as well and there wasn't any other lights in the garden so as you can see here the pixel 4 is a little bit clearer and i think it's just really good at just picking up people in their pictures the s20 i have noticed though it does really pick up the colors of the clothing that you're wearing so the white in my jumper there is a lot more realistic in the s20 picture but the face has always been an issue with a lot of the samsung galaxy cameras so they do this like processing where they try to smoothen it maybe blur out a bit of the edges or whatever but for me the pixel processing on that is just far better than the samsung ones now this one i just wanted to turn the flash on and take a picture of myself with flash on using the back camera the main camera i feel like the pixel 4 is done a lot better here if you look at the sky behind you can see a little bit more of that you can see the house in the background whereas the s20 is just focused purely on me and it has done a great job picking out the color of my jeans which are black it's a lot darker than the ones on the left and i feel like the pixel 4 basically adds a little bit more exposure and a bit more light post editing to bring in more of the backgrounds of your picture whereas the s20 will just focus on the subject and just try to brighten that as much as possible and darken everything behind but in my personal preference i definitely think the pixel 4 is a little bit better because once you have taken the picture you have to remember that there's plenty of apps out there that you can just play around and do some edits with to make it seem a lot better than what it actually is and i would definitely take that pixel 4 one and edit it post picture rather than take that S21 which would be a little bit harder to edit and even you can see the gradient on the wall is uh, a little bit more green there on the S20 which um, is not too much in my favour so for me the Pixel 4 has done a great job here. Now let's just have a look at a few other shots I've taken in very low light conditions and give you guys an idea of the differences there. Now this one, I wanted to take a picture of the sky to see if I can try and pick out some of those stars. Now for me the S20 has done an excellent job here, it's done a 10 times better job than the Pixel 4 has done there. So I pointed it right into the sky and I can see a lot more stars there on the S20 picture and if you look at the houses they're a lot more realistic coloured there as well. So there's a weird kind of green yellowish type filter across all of the houses there on the Pixel 4 which doesn't look great and it was a lot more realistic there on the S20. So for me it's a bit of a mix there because I think the Pixel 4 is trying to bring out everything in the subjects rather than just the night sky and remember this is not on any night sight mode or any specific night modes but the S20 definitely comes out on top on this one. And lastly, again here, you can see the difference in the gradient and the filtering of the background. You see the differences of what looks more realistic and what doesn't. For me, I think the Pixel 4 looks out more realistic there with the um, LED light of the lampposts in the background. And the S20 has done a good job picking out the colors in my actual clothing and a bit of the cars. So the true color tones of the cars in the background are much better there on the S20 as you can see they're a little bit washed out on the Pixel 4 but I would still choose that Pixel 4 photo purely for the overall what comes out better in uh, most of these night shots. Alright guys so I wanted to take a video test to see which has more stable video now S20 has inbuilt stabilization but it also has a, a mode called super steady mode. Now in this sample I've turned that mode on just to see the big difference between 
super steady mode on and super steady mode off but as you can see here the s20 is far more smoother than the pixel 4 even though the pixel 4 does a very good job so now let's switch over and look at the s20 ultra with the super steady mode off and as you can see it still does an excellent job which i'm very surprised for now the pixel 4 also has very good stabilization on it but i feel like i'm gonna be turning the camera here the s20 still seems to keep it on track keep it smooth no harsh transitions or anything like that no harsh panning so for me the s20 definitely wins on the stabilization game okay so just testing the autofocus starting off with the s20 i'm just panning closely to these pink flowers on the tree it's a little bit blurry it's trying to focus on it it didn't quite catch it so i pan away i pan back a little bit now if i step back the focus will come and it's quite fast but ultimately it wasn't so great now here with the pixel 4 i feel like the focus is there i'm just trying to pan into it smooth transition and it does keep quite a clear focus as well so it's done a little bit of a better job there with the uh, pixel 4 now going back to the s20 to a different flower try it again and as you can see it's just taking a while get closely and there we have some good autofocus nice blur background and you can see as I moved back, the transition was quite quick. I'm trying to focus on this little leaf here in the middle. It isn't picking it up. I did tap on the screen, but again, it's focusing more on the things in the background because maybe it's just camouflaged. But going back to this flower, I can see the transition is very quick and the blur is nice and I can get quite close for some macro shots as well. So good autofocus overall there. And finally, try the same thing again with the Pixel 4. Getting close good autofocus I feel like there's more blur in the background on the s20 phone so the depth of field is much better on the Samsung one than this one I'm getting very close here it does take a second to try and pick up for the macro shooting but the autofocus seems to work pretty well and I wouldn't really have any specific preference over either of these phones in that situation Hey, what's up guys so this is an audio test from both the pixel 4 and s20 so have a look at the top of the screen to see which audio is currently playing from which camera so hopefully you guys can get an idea of how the audio is when you're outdoors which is maybe clearer which is lighter so uh, let me know what you guys think of that okay and finally just for a bit of night video you can see the pixel 4 brings in a lot of light and the s20 does make it darker and more realistic so for me i think if you really want to show everything then the pixel 4 does a great job in here but i think when you go to somewhere very well lit the s20 will do a very good night video all right so thanks for watching guys hopefully that review was useful and you've got a better idea of which camera is better for your types of purpose so let me know in the comments below which you think is the better phone and which has the better camera and ultimately which phone would you actually buy in 2020 so if there's anything else you'd like me to test or if you have any questions with any of the pictures or videos i've taken then drop a comment i'll get back to you as soon as possible otherwise i hope you like this video i hope you subscribe and i'll catch you guys at the next one take care